In global news, in a desperate attempt to save its economy, the United States has merged its government and currency with Europe, replacing the dollar with the euro. As part of the joining, leader of the new nation, General Heydrich Yukov, has requested that all citizens of the single currency nation receive a new microchip credit card embedded in their right hands as a symbol of the new nation's authority. The size of a grain of rice, these chips will help reduce identity theft and credit card fraud. Got a message from Olia. What's it say? Give me a second to crack it. While you're doing that, listen to this. Same thing, every station, just like Olia said. Can you figure out what it's saying? I don't know, it almost sounds like Hebrew or something. Forget that for a second. You guys have to see this. What? The Vatican is instituting a universal faith? This universal religion is based on what is right for the human race and not on ancient writings. Meaning? Meaning that the scriptures are no longer being taught. The Bible is out. Why would the Vatican do this? The Vatican City signed a new religion into effect today. They're accepting of everyone. They're even allowing gays and women to preach to the congregations. No wonder they passed this. The whole world would follow them. But it goes against scripture. Something's not right. But why would a religious power toss away the Bible? Maybe they never used it to begin with. What's with you? What's up, Blade? Didn't get much sleep. Doing what? I was doing some reading. Here we go again. Okay, I'll bite. About what? The Antichrist. What if we were wrong? Check this out. I was making some notes about what the Bible really says about the Antichrist. There's a spirit of the Antichrist and a beast. So, where are you going with this? I think the Bible might be talking about the Vatican. <laughs> Seriously, the Vatican is the smallest nation in the world. The beast comes out of the sea. Water represents many peoples. It blasphemes God. Look here. John and Matthew say that forgiving sins or claiming to be God is blasphemy. But how does the Vatican claim to be God? Vicarious Philly Day. What's that? One of the titles Mr. Pope has gone by. It means Vicar of the Son of God, or in place of the Son of God. If you add up the name in Roman numerals, it adds up to six, six, six. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. I don't believe it. But what about changing times and laws? The Vatican admits it changed worship from Saturday to Sunday but in remembrance of Christ's resurrection. The reason doesn't matter. All that matters is that they made the change and the world went along with it. And the world wondered after the beast. That's where we are now. Everyone's ooing and aahing over the peace they think Vatican City is bringing. But couldn't these facts apply to anyone? Individually, yes. But as a whole, they can only point towards the Vatican. I'm still not sold. Have you read about the woman who rides the beast in Revelation? The mother of harlots? The Bible says that a woman in prophecy represents a church. So, there is a church that is in control of the beast country. A mother church. I can only think of one that claims to be the mother of all other churches. And it just so happens to be in control of a country. It kind of makes sense. Back so soon? Are you alone? We need to talk. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do Guys, all thy work. Guys, are you hearing this? But the seventh is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. What? In it thou shalt not Courtney. do any work. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. 
Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day. At the suggestion of the former United States, the Vatican officially passed a new law mandating that all citizens of the world government must attend Mass. In light of the recent calamities on our cities, Pope Matthew says that the decline of morality has brought God's wrath upon us. In an attempt to save us all from total destruction, the Pope believes that universal attendance to church will show the Lord that there is still good left in mankind. As a compliance incentive, the Vatican intends to use the chip implants released two years ago as the now only acceptable form of currency. Churches from all denominations worldwide are being fitted with sensors that will automatically add funds to the person's implant upon entering a sanctioned church on Sundays. Failure to comply with the new laws is punishable by imprisonment or even death. So, what do we know? They just passed forced worship into law. What does it mean? It means this isn't right. Worship should never be forced. And why is this being tied to the chip? Media just announced that chips are now required to buy goods. If those who already have a chip don't walk into a sanctioned church on Sunday, the chip becomes deactivated and they can't buy or sell. What do we do then? And who's behind the broadcasts? And what about Olia? We'll talk to her tomorrow. It makes sense. What are you gonna do? Shut down, I guess. Nothing much else to do. Are your parents gonna be okay with that? They were taken a year ago. Some conspiracy about smuggling weapons or something. It's my store now. I'm sorry. It's okay, you know. I mean, I knew I had to close up one day. Just didn't think it'd be so soon. Hey, if you need a place to stay... I'll be fine. I still own the store. Just can't sell anything. Are you sure that's smart? I mean, we know what happens next. I'm not running scared. How are you guys gonna deal? We don't know yet. No one knows where we live. But we're off the grid. It's times like this where we have to trust God. You guys ever think about preaching again? We've talked about it. Why? With the world being deceived, don't they need to know the truth? Besides, you guys are probably the only ones that could get away with it. I know how you feel about this. But this is important. Would you tape it for us and upload it to the web? Sure, I can do it. My phone can't be traced. Okay, we do it tomorrow. I'm here in McAllen, Texas, where the folks here, immigrants that just cross the border and people from this community experience this amazing virtual audience with the Pope himself. They, they got advice from him as well as blessings. Our chant here from Sacred Heart in McAllen, Texas was, the Pope is here, we can feel him. And I'd like for you to get just a little more of that sentiment uh, of the feeling of what it's like to be down here on this very special day today. Así que se ve, se siente. We see him, we feel him. The Pope is here. That's what they're chanting. Blindly follow an organization you know nothing about. You say that you're free. I tell you, you are slaves. Think for yourselves. Read your Bibles before they're taken from you. You follow the beast and you don't even know it. Who's this beast? Vatican City. Okay. Who are these people? Find them. That would mean now. That went better than I thought it would. It's always a good day when you don't end up in jail. What are you doing? Remember, you've got five minutes before they can pinpoint you. Think for yourselves! Read your Bibles before they're taken from you! You follow the beast and you don't even know it. Looks good. So what now? We pray that people see it. You'd better have some good news. We found him. I'm on my way.
What do we got? They're operating out of the United States. Where? Pacific Northwest, Washington. Give our out the green light. Sir? The Vatican wants these heretics out of the equation. They're responsible for these broadcasts. We have no proof. Don't argue, just do it. Yes, sir. I'm glad they didn't catch you. Us too. Did you hear the good news? What news? Over 20,000 hits on that video. Already? Yeah, and the best part is that there's three more videos on there as well. What do you mean? Some of the other communities have decided to speak out too. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. We're closed. Can I help you? I'm looking for them. Do you know Think them? For yourselves. Read your Bibles before they're taken from you. No, I don't think so. Really? Because I just saw them leave. Oh, that's them? They look so much different in real life. Yes, they do, huh? What do you think you're doing this, sweetheart? Girls, go home. James, let's go. Who are you? I will not be the last one to come after you! Why are you after us? Because you're the ones that are behind the broadcast. Who do you work for? <laughs> Who do you work for? The Congregation for the Defense of the Faith! Sir. Yes? Hop One hasn't checked in yet. And the terrorists? We don't know. Then we consider them alive until we know otherwise. Sir, we've got other problems. How so? They're not the only ones anymore. What? The terrorists? There's others speaking out now, too. Take them out. Take them all out. Yes, sir. Shane, what happened? She's dead. Who? Olia. What happened to her? She was killed. By whom? I don't know. Some organization. The Congregating the Defense of Faith or something like that. What's that? Some hit squad spiring doesn't matter. Are you serious? They sent an agent after us, but he found her first. They know who we are. He won't be the last. Why are they after us? They think we're the ones behind the broadcasts. We have to find whoever it is before the Vatican does. How do we compete with them? We have the advantage. They think it's us, so they'll try to find us. We know it's someone else. James, do you think you can triangulate the broadcast? I can try. So, who do we trust now? Everyone we meet could be the enemy. We can still trust God. There's something I don't get. What's that? Just because someone follows a Catholic church, that doesn't make him a bad person, right? Right. If this organization or whatever truly believes they're doing God's work, then why are they okay with killing us? I don't know. These things have I spoken unto you that ye shall not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh, that whosoever killeth you would think that he doeth God's service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. That's really starting to creep me out. Did you get it? This can't be right. What? The signal's coming from the mountains. 
Which ones? The peak outside our city. What? That's what it says. Are you sure you're reading that right? I think so. Let's put the radio stuff aside for the moment. We need to figure out where we're going to get food. How much do we have in storage? Enough for six months. We need something else. We're not sure how long this tribulation is going to last. We don't know any other shop owners. We're screwed. We could dumpster dive. Ew, gross. We could set up a farm somewhere. Do we really want to run and hide, though? We have to trust God. He hasn't failed us. Yes? This is Luke Shepard. Put me through to West. One moment, please. West, I didn't sign up for this. I take it you got my package. You have to get someone else. He saved my life. I don't care if he saved your mother. You're doing God's work now, kid. If you go AWOL on us, we'll send every operative we've got after you. Do you understand? Understood. Good. We think we know some of the routes they take. Grab a pen. You again, huh? Who's this? This is the kid I was telling you about. I'm not a kid. I'm 19. What's your name? Luke. What can we do for you, Luke? You guys are Christians, right? Look, I've been thinking a lot about what you said. And you're right. Stealing is wrong. Can you help me? Give us a minute. Something's not right. What are you talking about? I... I don't know. I'm just getting a funny feeling about this. The kid needs our help. We could share the truth. I still don't think we should. Let's go! Where did the police come from? Get them out of there. What's wrong? Hey guys! Come on, let's go! Help me get him up. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> Hold on. How did you do that? We'll figure it out later. Let's go. Where are we going? Someplace safe. We're in. Excellent. Bring up the feed. Come on, people. We've got one chance to take them down. Let's get this right. I want Luke's chip on that screen ten minutes ago. Read your Bibles before they're taken from you! Who's this beast? That in city. Why is it so important to you guys? I mean, does it really matter? I mean, come on. Once Judgment Day comes, you either go to heaven or hell, right? So, who cares who the beast is? You don't get it. The beast will cause Christians and non-Christians alike to literally lose their souls. That's why we're fighting. That's why we care. Look at it like this. If the atheists are right, then what does it matter anyway? But what if they're wrong and we're right? Can you really take that chance? You all right? Yeah, I just can't sleep as all. Join the club. So, how do you guys plan on spreading the truth? We're planning another sermon flight. What's that? Preach to the crowd till the cops show up. Then we run. The sermons are recorded, then broadcast to the web. You do this often? That's why the CDF is after us. We could use a videographer. 
Up to the challenge? Why me? Why not get whoever did this before? An op got to her. She was killed. There's no middle ground. Not anymore. You're either in or you're out. I'm not gonna lie, there's a good chance of getting killed. It's your call. I'm in. There's a big event in the park on Friday. There's gonna be lots of people. You know that means tighter security. We've got three days to get you ready. Put me through to West. Sir, it's Luke. Speaker. This is West. Friday. Their next event is Friday. Riverfront Park. We'll have ops in place. Do they trust you? Of course. Good. Your deeds won't go unnoticed. You'll be taken care of. Thanks. And by the way, the price has just gone up. I want 30000 We got what we need. Sir, it's Luke again. Speaker. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry, I don't understand. We had a deal. Why are you trying to kill me? Oh, I'm sorry. I assure you that no one here... Oh, wait a second. I just got some info. Uh, one of our ops got some bad intel. Someone will be punished. I assure you. He's not coming. We don't know that. What happened to you? They blew up my apartment. What? I have nowhere to go. You can stay with us. Really? Of course you can stay. We can figure it out later. We've got more important things to do. Alright guys, let's do this. People! Listen up! We have a message for you! Listen to us! You've all been chipped, and you're forced to go to sanctioned churches, correct? Our message to you is simple. God cannot be forced on anyone. You have to choose to love God. And you who are going along with this chipped garbage, we're going against God, not with Him. The Vatican is the beast of revelation. By going along with the scheme, you are following the devil. And when Judgment Day comes, you will be destroyed. Read your Bible, put your faith in Christ, and turn away from the beast! It's them! The Vatican officially passed a new law mandating that all citizens of the world government must attend Mass. In light of the recent calamities on our cities, Pope Matthew says that the decline of morality has brought God's wrath upon us. In an attempt to save us all from total destruction, the Pope believes that universal attendance to church will show the Lord that there is still good left in mankind. As a compliance incentive, the Vatican intends to use the chip implants released two years ago as the now only acceptable form of currency. Churches from all denominations worldwide are being fitted with sensors that will automatically add funds to the person's implant upon entering a sanctioned church on Sundays. Failure to comply with the new laws is punishable by imprisonment or even death. You want to live? Follow me. titles Mr. Pope has gone by. It means Vicar of the Son of God, or In Place of the Son of God. And if you add up the name in Roman numerals, it adds up to six, six, six. Follow me. The letter comes three weeks before Francis's visit to this country, where abortion remains a divisive issue in and outside the church. 
At least one theologian sees in the timing a message directed at the U.S. Change in tone welcomed by many. Whatever can propel the Catholic Church into contemporary times is worth applause. It's only for one year, come on. What about the people next year? You want to live? Follow me. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred, three score, and six. You are safe now. Who are you? I was sent to safely guide you home. What? You are a few of the only people willing to spread the truth. Our Father is pleased with you and will continue to provide for your needs. The time of great trouble has begun. The beast is now in power. But our Lord comes quickly. Continue to seek and share the truth. The fate of many lies with you. Vatican. This is West. I... Yes. I... I understand. Everything okay? We got one more shot to get this right or we're out of a job. God help us. How'd they know already? They didn't. They saw this. I thought that kid wasn't gonna upload it. Uh, I didn't think so either. Track his chip, send op two after him, and bring him in. We need to have a talk. Make that happen. What's your malfunction, son? What are you talking about? The Vatican is the beast of revelation. Where did you get this? Online. Well, how did it get there? I was hoping you could tell me. Wait, wait, you think I put this on there? You got a better lead? Where's the apartment? Lakeview and 4th. The corner of Lakeview and 4th. Clean this up. Sir. Armed men! I just saw armed men! They're coming this way! We have to leave! Now! Let's go! Copy that, squad leader. Wrap it up. Return to base. Who died and put you in charge? You. Anyone else have a problem? Did you guys see that?
You kids lost? No. We're headed to the peak. Well, it's nice to meet you. We don't get much company up here. Name's Wolf. Wolf? <laughs> Nickname. Nice to meet you. I'm Shane. This is my crew. You guys on the run or something? Or something. Fair enough. That's why I headed the peak. We've been picking up some broadcasts and they've been coming from the peak. We think whoever's doing it might be able to help us. <laughs> We've been living out here for over a year. There's nobody up here but us. And you're not behind this. <laughs> Sorry. That doesn't make any sense. I've been there myself. There's no tower up there.